But seriously, this is really amazing. This is a great, um, great thing y'all are doing. So thank y'all for having me. I'm excited to be a part. Um, my name is Timmy Yancey, and I'm a Diamond Ambassador with Plexus, and I live, uh, live in Arkansas. And I started like a bunch of you guys just to lose a little bit of weight and did not want to sell. Literally told my upline, Christy Hull, I'm not selling, don't get excited. But when you find products that are this awesome, it's kind of hard not to tell people. I mean, I felt like I would kind of be a terrible human being if I did not tell my friends and family about these products, right? And so that's probably how a lot of you guys got started. But today I want to talk to you about three tips that everyone can do to go diamond, okay? And when I tell you these tips, I know that you're going to be thinking, well, duh, hello, but I want you to really, really think about them and really listen to what I'm saying and see if these are, if, if you're really taking to heart what I'm saying. So, okay, tip number one to go diamond. Number one, you have to have belief in yourself in these products and in this company, okay? Now, I know that this sounds like a given, but think about it. Do you really, really, really believe that these products can help people? Are you taking these products every single day? If you're not taking these products every single day and you don't really believe that they can help people, then we're just a salesperson. And nobody wants to feel like they're being sold something. So it's so important that you believe in these products, that you are investing, that you are reading testimonials, that you are following up with your customers and hearing how they're doing with these products, okay? The second part to that was something that I recently added. Um, belief in yourself. I had so many people on my team that had had all the elements to be an amazing ambassador, but just something wasn't clicking. And what I learned was a lot of us don't really believe that we can do this. Um, here's, I'm going to go ahead and tell on myself. So I moved up through the ranks in Plexus really quickly. I went to Emerald in seven months and Sapphire in 11. And then this chick sat at Sapphire for a year. Okay. Now, Sapphire's not a terrible place to be stuck, but it is kind of what they consider a stepping stone to diamond. Like, it's kind of like, oh, you know, no man's land where you don't really hang out there a ton, but it's there on the way between Emerald and Diamond. This chick packed a lunch and stayed there for a year, okay? So I can't complain about being at Sapphire, but something wasn't clicking, okay? I had, I had done everything I needed to do to get, look at this, my cats are fighting. Y'all see them? Stop it. For those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, know that I have, I got Hendrix a Russian kitten for Christmas and, and he is a Russian terrorist, okay? <clears throat> and so, I got stuck at Sapphire. I went to a Jules training in Phoenix and actually it was in Dallas. It was the first Jules training they had. And all of these amazing leaders, um, Melissa Eichenhorst and some that I really looked up to, were talking about belief. I, the Yanceys, we don't lack self-confidence. We are, we are who we are and we like us some us. And <laughs> I didn't feel like I had a problem with my belief. Um, but what I didn't realize is, you guys, the stuff that you say to yourself matters, okay? You talk to yourself more than anybody else in the world does. So what you're saying to yourself matters, okay? And so what I was saying to myself, I thought that I was giving myself a pat on the back, giving myself a way out. Oh, you know, like an excuse. So what I was saying to myself was, Timmy, you're an amazing recruiter. You have like an, a crazy amount of level ones. You're not a great leader and that's okay because you didn't ever mean to be. This was an accident. Not everybody can, can be good at everything and leadership is just not what you enjoy and it's not what you're really great at and that's okay. And that's what I was telling myself. And when I was saying this to myself, I thought 
that it was positive talk. Does that make sense? Like I thought that I was giving myself a pat on the back, a way out, but what I was doing was feeding myself garbage, okay? I was telling myself something that was selling myself short, okay? And so, I realized that at <coughs> this, this Jules training. And so, as crazy as I thought these leaders were, I was like, positive affirmations. Hum, that a hummer. Do I need to be in a, a downward dog position when I feed myself positive affirmations? Like, I was like, this is some Oprah Winfrey boo honky, and it's not going to work. But what if it does? What if it, what if it does? I mean, what else, what do I, what else do I have to lose, right? I'm a sapphire. Um, what I'm doing is not working. So maybe I'll just do these positive affirmations and not tell anybody. Like nobody has to know. It could be my little secret. Okay. So I decided that the month of January, or actually the month of like January to February, when I got back home from the Jules training, I was going to start with the positive affirmations. Okay, so I told myself every single day. Let me let me back up to here. This was a point in my Plexus career where nobody was ranking up. I was not ranking up. Nobody on my team was ranking up. I would have freaking thrown a party if somebody went silver. You hear me? Like dead in the water is what was happening on Team Yancey. Okay, so. I got back home and I said every single day, you are an amazing leader. You have the fastest growing team in Plexus. You are an amazing leader. You have the fastest growing team in Plexus. And like you guys, I felt like the biggest phony. I was saying it and I felt like I was lying to myself. Like I was like, I hate you for saying this. This is a lie. You're lying to yourself. But I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. And so I said that to myself every single day. And I'm telling you, as bad as I hate to admit it, they were right. And after being stuck at, at Sapphire for a year, I did this January, February. I went diamond in April. Okay? That is not a coincidence. Mindset and what you tell yourself matters. You Talk to yourself more than any other human in the world. So what you are saying to yourself matters. So I want you guys to think about what you're saying to yourself and say the opposite. Even if it has to do with excuses. Um, change your why. Like I have people all the time that are like, I can't do this. I'm a single mom. I don't have any time. I wish I had time. Change those words. I'm going to do this because I'm a single mom and I don't have time and I want time. Or, um, you know, I, I, I'm not a salesperson. I can't do this. If that's what you're saying to yourself, then change that wording and say, I'm not a salesperson, but I am an honest and dependable person and people believe and trust me. And I'm sharing products that are changing lives. So it's all in how you tell yourself. And I promise you, I want you guys to make a promise that whatever you're telling yourself that's negative or slightly negative, you will tell yourself the 100% opposite of that for a month, okay? And I want you to do that for a month, and I want you to tell me or Natalie or Aaron how that changes your business, because it will, I promise, I promise. So that's number one, belief in yourself and belief in the products, okay? And you have to have that or you're, it doesn't matter, pack a bag and head on home. It doesn't matter what else I tell you. If you don't have that, you don't have the foundation that you need, okay? Um, ooh, Audrey, fastest growing team in Australia. Holla, that's awesome. Okay, number two. The second thing you have to do to be a diamond. Y'all ready for this? You have to talk to people every single day. Yeah, you do. Every single day, okay? People are like, I don't have time for Plexus. I work a full-time job. I work two jobs. I, then I take kids all over creation. Girl, 
you're telling yourself all this negative crap and what I'm hearing is you have a lot of markets to be talking plexus about. Talk about it at your job. Talk about it at your second job. Talk about it at the ball field. Wear your plexus t-shirt. Look cute. Look happy. Wear your plexus uh, mug. Right? We are telling ourselves the wrong things. If you're telling yourself, I don't have time to talk to people, you're lying. You're lying. If you're super busy, then you got a better market than I do, honey, because I'm a stay-at-home mom. And I got, uh, can y'all see it? Where's he at? Cats to talk to. That's who I've got to talk to. I have to make places to go to talk to people, okay? So you've got to talk to people every single day, okay? Don't complicate it. I just got asked by another jewel. Jake and I have recruited a ton of level ones, like crazy amount, like 400, okay? I'd say 65 to 70% of those, I don't know. I'd never met in person. I've met them maybe once, somewhere randomly. Um, we talk to a lot of people and we don't complicate it, okay? People are like, what do you say when you, when you message potentials, okay? Well, let me give you a little tip of what I do, okay? You got two choices when you're recruiting people, okay? You can either spend 90% of your time building relationships and 10% of that time recruiting, but if you haven't built relationships, then you're gonna have to, and you've only spent like 10% on the relationship, then you're gonna have to spend 90% recruiting, okay? So I tend to focus 90% of my time on building relationships, that way I don't have to spend a lot of time recruiting, okay? What does that mean? That means I engage with my non-plexus Facebook, Instagram audience a lot. I go to their page, I comment on their stuff, I post personal things on my Facebook page. Um, it makes my mom want to hide under a rock because I tell the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I do it in an entertaining way to my Facebook. Um, people feel like they know me. Um, one of my level ones that's a Ruby, I had never met until like several months ago. She felt like she knew me because... I post on Facebook about my life. I tell stories. Now, I don't make it a, I, I, I don't tell things that are unflattering. I don't lie to people. I don't, I'm not fake. Um, but there are ways that you can package your story. Uh, for those of you who were at Super Saturday, I was in Albany, but um, I loved this, the, the segment, the video they did on storytelling. Tell stories. Stories sell. Okay, story sale. So be personal on your Facebook page. Let people feel like they know you. Go comment on their stuff. If you build, spend 90% of your time on building relationships, recruiting is the easy part. Okay, so um, don't complicate it. I, I build, okay, so I commented. Here's the last one I recruited to my team. I went and commented on her stuff, and I'd been commenting on it a long time. And she's adorable, and she would be so cute and so fun on a Plexus team. And so I've spent all my time inboxing her, talking to her, building that relationship. And then what I did to recruit, I literally said, Haley, I inboxed her, Haley, you are adorable. When are you going to join my Plexus team? That's all I said. I didn't give her a spill. I didn't, I didn't make it about me. I didn't say, <clears throat> we've all gotten these messages. <clears throat> Haley, I'm sure you've been seeing my Plexus post. I love these products. Let me tell you what they've done for me. They have helped with my IBS. They have helped with my appetite. They have helped with my sleeping. And they have made me so much fun. <laughs> what, what are they going to do for me? Why are you telling me this? Right? How many of us have gotten those messages on Facebook? Uh, don't make it about you. Make it about them and don't complicate it. People are drawn to fun. Um, people are going to go with you because they either believe that you're an expert, which I'm not an expert, or they trust you. So 
Build relationships with people. Don't complicate it. Have fun with this, you guys. This is a fun gig. People are drawn to fun. If you're so serious and so salesy, they're going to feel like they can't do this. If you don't complicate it and you have fun with it and you make it look like they can do this, they will join you. Okay? Promise. So, um, another thing that I feel like we complicate and we worry about when we're talking to people is no. Anybody on here afraid of the word no? Hey, Sunday. Um, a lot of us are afraid of the word no, okay? And I love this example that my friend Sonia gives. So, <clears throat> say, Tiffany, Tiffany, say you and Lori are at church and you're sitting there and you pull out your big red gum and you say, hey, Lori, do you want some gum? And Lori says, no, thank you. Tiffany, are you automatically going to be like, Oh my gosh, she told me no. She hates me. She's probably already blocked me on Facebook. I'm so embarrassed. I'll never be able to see her again. We're probably already not friends on Facebook because I look like a moron because I asked her if she wanted gum. I knew when I bought gum at that gas station and it said longer, fresher breath, that it was a lie. Anybody who's ever told me that gum gives you fresh breath and curbs your appetite is a liar. And I look like a liar and a salesperson because I tried to give her some gum. Are you never going to ask Lori if she wants Big Red? Yes, I'm not, I got the Texas, Arkansas girls on here. Some Big Red. Uh, Tiffany, are you never going to ask your friend Lori if she wants gum again if you're sitting next to her? Are you going to take it personally that she didn't want gum? She might have headgear. She might have a mouth appliance. She might have braces. She might have a retainer. She might have just brushed her teeth. She might be allergic to Big Red. It might be, you know, Sarah Robin says, <laughs> um, yeah, we're so dramatic when it comes to asking people if they want plexus and we take it so personally. Don't complicate it. It's okay. Sarah Robin says, and I love this video she has going on around right now about um, oh, I can't remember what she has at title, but she says, the waitress comes by and she asks you if you want a refill. If you say no, it's not because you don't like what you're drinking. It's either a preference thing, like, oh, I don't need any right now. I'm full. I don't want any. Or it's a timing thing. No, I don't need any right now. Okay? It is never about you or what you're offering. So, a no is not a no forever. It's a no for right now. She don't want any big red right now. She might next week. She might next month. So, go for no. It's okay. Don't take it personally. I love, for those of you that were at convention last year, my favorite part was something small and insignificant. And the speaker probably doesn't even remember he said it. But it was my favorite, favorite thing out of a convention. So, the, the speaker, I can't even remember which one it was, but he said, look at these emerald sapphires and diamonds down here. And for those that weren't at convention, it was, the M, it was at the MGM. There was 15,000 people there. It was packed. So, the jewel sapphire and diamonds were at the very front of the stage. We had awesome seats. And the speaker said, look at these jewels down here. These emerald sapphires and diamonds, they are right here. They are right at the front of the stage. Who is going to be down here next summer? And the crowd goes wild. Everybody's like, me, yes, I'm going to be there. Woo! They're like grabbing their friend and they're like, we're going to be down there. Yeah! Okay. And he says, okay, I'm going to tell you the secret, the one thing that sets you and these, these elite people down here apart. And the crowd is like silent. It goes from like concert loud to like silent. People are like, this dude right here is fixing to make the $90 I spent on convention worth it. Here we go. He's given me the secret. This is what I've been waiting on. And like everybody's just like, you could hear a pin drop. And he said, the one thing that sets these people apart from you all the way up to the nosebleed section 
is the fact that they've been told no a heck of a lot more than you have. It's true. You know, I've been told no thousands and thousands and thousands of times. In fact, almost every single person on my team has told me no at one point or another, okay? Nobody, not once, I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but not one time have I ever gone up to somebody and said, hey, Laura, I think you should join my Plexus team. And they say, where's your website? No! These cats, can y'all see them? They're fighting. They've, they've, they've always said, well, it sounds good. Well, tell me about it. Well, how much is this? Well, can I take it with that? Well, I don't think I'm a salesperson. Well, you just have to make it a relationship. Connect with people. Talk with them. Listen to them. Find out what they want out of it. What are their goals? Like, just talk to people and ask questions, okay? Like I said, I've been told no thousands and thousands and thousands of times, but guess what? I'm a diamond. All that matters are my yeses, right? So if we get 2,000 no's and you get six or 700 yeses, nobody remembers the no's. The no's don't matter, okay? Um, how, okay, I'm gonna answer this. How many people, how many people do I talk to? Gosh, I try to talk to three, four, five people a day. I went to the doctor today, and um, now this is fun, fun fact Friday, and I have a hernia from big babies, and um, I just talked to people, and I talked to him, and we talked for 15 minutes after my appointment, and he started me asking me questions about, do you go to the gym? How fit are you? How do you stay so fit? Blah, blah, blah. I take Plexus. Have you heard of Plexus? Right? So it's just about talking to people, listening, asking questions, and if you ask questions and connect to people, you will find a way to fit Plexus in. It's really easy. Don't complicate it. I just ask people questions. Like for instance, I go to I go to Target. Everyone at Target has tried Plexus here in Benton. I go to Target and if you just ask if you just take those conversations, one to two sentences past what you normally would, that's where you're gonna open your Plexus, Plexus market up. So I go to Target. We all do this. We all check out. We have a checker. The checker says, how are you doing? You say, great, thank you. A lot of times that's as far as you'll go. You're digging in your purse. You might say, I'm good, thanks, how are you? But most of the time we don't really even listen. We're digging in our purse, we're getting our cards out, we're not even paying attention, okay? <coughs> I take it one to two sentences past that. I say, <clears throat> I'm good, how are you? And they answer and I say, have y'all had a busy day? Has it been busy here? Open question. Um, a lot of times they'll say, oh my gosh, yes. I've been here since like 7 a.m. It's been nonstop. Oh my gosh, that is a busy day. Are you exhausted? Yes, girl, I'm so exhausted. Oh, I know how you feel. I used to be so exhausted too. Have you heard of Lexus? Like that's rocked my world. Okay, or I've even done that to people and they say, yeah, I am, I've been here since 8 a.m. and I've got a second job after this. Or, oh, yeah, well, I haven't been here that long, but I was up all night. My kid, my, I, have a, I have a newborn. I'm exhausted. I've been up all night. If you talk to people and you ask questions, you will be surprised, or maybe not, but you will find out how many people need our products. Okay? And I don't complicate it. I just say, pure to Plexus. But I love it when they say no. Because then I act like they're the last ones to the party. Nobody wants to be the last one to hear about something awesome. So they'll say, uh, no, what's Plexus? No, I haven't heard about Plexus. What? You don't know. How do you live in this city and you don't know? You seriously have no idea what Plexus is? And by this point, um, they're like, no, what is, what is Plexus? Well, glad you asked. All right, so that's what I do. I just don't complicate it. I just talk to people and I ask questions and I build relationships, okay? Um, okay, so that was a long one. Number two, talk to people every single day. Um, yeah, do the checkout line because you know they're gonna be there. They come, they're there 
every so often, you can go back, you can drop off samples, you can build relationships, go to the same checker every time. Okay, last but not least, number three. I hope y'all are enjoying these tips. These are easy, but they're things that I really want you to think about if you're doing them and if you're doing them effectively. Number three, this is the last one. If you have done one, which is belief in yourself and the products, if you have done two, you talk to people every single day, then there's three. Don't quit. Don't quit. Be consistent. Do it every single day. Every single day. So easy, okay? I love Sarah Robbins. I, I, you know, I message her a lot, or I not message her, I reference her a lot. And she says that she has never known someone to consistently work their business, whatever it is in multi-level marketing, and not make it to the top in 10 years, okay? 10 years is a long time. I don't think it'll take you 10 years to get to Diamond, but worst case scenario, say it does. If it took you two, 10 years to get to Diamond and be making an average of $400,000 a year, isn't it worth it? It's so worth it. I have two college degrees, and if I were working both of those careers, which were good careers, full-time, 50-plus hours a week, both of them, so 100 hours a week, I would not be making what I'm making as a Plexus Diamond. And the best part is I still consider myself a full-time stay-at-home mom. That's the best part of this gig, you guys. Um, I love my husband. He just came in and out. He is He was a skeptic, told me we weren't doing this like any great wife. I didn't listen. And he is now an almost Sapphire ambassador on my team. Um, he's playing tennis tonight, so he just came in and went out. But I love the analogy he gives for this, um, this, this step about don't quit, okay? For $34.95, you pay that amount and you get a turnkey business, okay? Just like when you pay a gym membership. You pay a gym membership and you get access to everything in that gym, okay? Your Plexus business is like a treadmill, okay? You walk into the gym and there's a line of treadmills ready for you to start. That's how your Plexus business is. You pay $34.95 and it is ready for you to start, okay? You can pick any treadmill. Get on a treadmill. You get to decide your goal. <coughs> Maybe your goal is to make $500 a month. Maybe your goal is to cover your mortgage or cover your products. Or maybe your goal is to make a couple thousand dollars a month. Maybe your goal is to go diamond, okay? You get to decide whether you want to, what your goal is. Just like a gym, you get to decide, do you want to lose five pounds? Do you want to lose 10 pounds? Do you want to just get healthy? You get to decide, okay? So get on that treadmill, which is your Plexus business. What happens if you get on that treadmill and you work, work, work for like three or four days, and then you don't for a little bit. What happens? Well, you lose momentum, and you can get back on the treadmill and start over, but that's what it is. It's starting over, and it's hard to build momentum. What happens if you get on that treadmill and you work consistently every single day? You get in a groove. You get in a routine. It becomes easy. You build momentum. You, you can see your goals coming to fruition, right? What happens if you get on the treadmill and you're going at the speed you feel comfortable at and you look over to your right and on the treadmill next to you is this hottie patati girl in cute little Lululemon workout pants and she's like a size two and full makeup and cute hair and she is running while you're walking. What happens if you look over there and start looking at that chick and thinking, why, how is she running so fast? How does her hair look like that? How does, she's not sweating. How the heck is this girl doing this? What happens? Well, if you're me, you're probably going to fall off the treadmill and knock out a few teeth. <laughs> okay? Same thing with this business. What happens if you are working your business consistently and you are steadily looking to the left or the right, comparing yourself to somebody else that you have no idea anything about them? It's not going to be good, y'all. It's not going to be good for you. Comparing yourself never works out, okay? It's only going to steal your joy, right? Okay, 
So, what I say all of this to say is get on your treadmill, decide your goal, don't compare yourself, work consistently, put your blinders on, Erin, that's right, go at your own pace, okay? Do what's comfortable for you, but do it consistently and don't lollygag. Like if you only have 15 or 20 minutes a day to work your Plexus business, that's okay. Work it smart. Work it consistently. Don't go in, if you only have 20 minutes, don't go in the gym and be busy being busy, right? We've all seen those people that are in the gym, but they're not working. Be that chick that goes in the gym, pounds it out, goes home to her family, right? Okay, so that is my goal to say that. So the three tips that I have to Going Diamond that you guys can do is, one, belief in yourself and belief in the products. Number two, talk to people every single day. Don't complicate it and don't be afraid of no. No's not forever, it's for right now. Number three, remember that treadmill. Don't quit. Be consistent in your Plexus journey. So I hope that you guys have gotten something out of this. I just want you to know that this is for everybody, you guys. Plexus is not just for the top 100. Okay, we have 100 diamonds. Thank you. We're cut off. We don't need any more. That's not how this works. This is not like corporate America where there's only so many positions at the top. There is no deadline. You can do this and it's made for you to get there. So just do you, don't complicate it, go at your own pace, and just know that you can do this. We all start out at the same place. Zero customers, zero ambassadors. Um, the rest is up to you. The rest is up to you. But this is a company that is designed for everyone to be able to succeed. And we believe you can do this. We know you can do this. So the rest is up to you. Awesome. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and get on that treadmill. Okay. And I will see all you guys at the top looking hot because you've been on your treadmill every single day, right? All right. Well, love you guys. Thank y'all for asking me. This has been so much fun. Y'all have been so awesome. And uh, yeah, see y'all at the top.